Welcome everyone in this series of HTML5 lectures. We will be taking you from the very basics of HTML towards the advanced topics of HTML5 through a series of sequential lectures. Now let us start with our first lecture, Introduction to HTML. At a successful completion of this lecture, you will be in a position to know what is HTML, how HTML looks like, and where HTML is used or required. Now let us see what HTML is. HTML is basically a markup language and HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML can be processed and understood by all web browsers like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, etc and can be transferred between clients and server via hypertext transfer protocols which is widely known and abbreviated as http the next target is how html looks like so let us see a very basic html file at the left hand side of the slide html file is nothing but a collection of html tags like head, title, body, h1, etc. And each of them has a specific meaning for the browser, which we will be exploring shortly. But for now, just understand that HTML can be rendered by any web browser and can generate the output from it as shown in the right hand side of the slide. Now, as we have seen the structure of HTML document, Let's explore in a bit more detail. HTML is combination of tags and each tag has a specific meaning to the browser. HTML is the topmost tag each HTML document should have. An HTML tag must hold two inner tags which are head and body which in turn can contain as many tags as needed. Now let us explore the structure of a tag. Each tag is composed of three key elements which are tag name, attribute and content of the tag. If we look into the slide on the screen we can see h1 tag exploded where h1 is the name of the tag, id is the attribute of the tag and the text enclosed inside the opening and closing tags is called contents which in this case is welcome in the world of HTML5. Attributes are optional and can be as much as needed. Now as we got a feel of basic HTML layout, now let's dig into the need for HTML. Why we need HTML or where HTML is needed. Basically web browsers understand HTML and we need HTML to allow web browsers to communicate with web servers and vice versa. The web server needs HTML to convey the responses to clients or web browsers. In this whole mechanism, if we will see, a user can put a URL in the web browser and the web browser is transferring the request through HTTP protocol to the web server and web server is processing that request and if needed it's uh, communicating with the database server for any data retrieval if required and after collecting the respective information it's sending back to the browser and once the HTML code is received by the browser it's getting shown to the user as a response from the web server. Now let us see how a user request flows in the whole cycle of the request and response. Web technological stack is uh, mostly composed of three layers. DB layer resides on database server, website reside on web server, and web clients reside on in user machine in the form of web browsers. Now HTML utilization. The question is where HTML is getting fit into the world of the web. Each website contains web pages and a web page normally composed of three main items CSS, 
HTML and JavaScript in which CSS is used for styling web page HTML is used for the contents of the page and JavaScript is used for the interactivity of the page so these three are getting combined into a web page and collection of these web pages is called a website and this was uh, the end of our lecture number one please subscribe us for updates on further lectures of the series our next coming lecture is let's code html